is an area notified under Wildlife Protection Act 1972 for the conservation and protection of wildlife and ecology of the area. It includes national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, conservation reserves and community reserves. These are managed by the State Forest Department, in particular the Wildlife Wing. There are two national parks, seven wildlife sanctuaries and ten community reserves in the state of Manipur. These protected areas have been created to preserve endemic and endangered flora and fauna of the state. Since Manipur falls in one of the biodiversity hotspots of the world, the forests of Manipur are rich in endemic and endangered wildlife. The prominent wildlife of Manipur include rare bro antler deer, Sangai, leopard, clouded leopard, hullock gibbon, Himalayan black bear, hawk deer, barking deer, Sambur, Goral, Pengolin, Green Peafowl, Oriental Pied Hornbill, Bengal Slow Loris, Flying Squirrel, Rare and Endangered Orchids, Wide Variety of Reptiles, etc. Manipur is also blessed with potential habitats for elephant and tiger. Some evidences have been found for their presence in the western and eastern part of Manipur. However, actual sighting is still awaited. The bro antler deer or dancing deer locally known as Sangai is found in the only floating national park of the world that is Kebulamjau National Park. The park was initially notified in 1977 covering an area of 40 square kilometer. Later on, the area of the park has been further extended by 6.7 square kilometer. The national park is totally undisturbed as there is no village within the park. This park has single isolated population of Sangai in the world. Hence, it makes Sangai a vulnerable deer population. The park also supports a wide variety of faunal species including various mammals, reptiles, aquatic birds, amphibians, fish and invertebrate insects etc. Hawk deer, large Indian civet, common otter, small Indian civet and wild boar are the other higher vertebrates found in the park. The park is a natural paradise of migratory birds during winter. Three-fourths part of Kebul Lamjau National Park is covered with pumdis, which is an organic mass at different stages of decomposition. The thickness of pumdis varies from few centimeters to two meters. The pumdi floats with four-fifths part under water. The floating mass supports wide diversity of flora and fauna, including Sangai. The park encompasses three beautiful serene hillocks, namely Pabot, Toya and Jingjiao. The park is surrounded by marshes and hillocks. 
the hillocks provide shelter for its large number of mammals during the monsoon and breeding season. In order to promote tourism and conservation of Sangai, the International Sangai Festival is celebrated every year by the state government. Another national park is located at Ukrul district of Manipur and is famous as Shiroi National Park. It was notified in 1982 to preserve and conserve the state flower of Manipur, Shiroi lily or Lilium maclini. It is a rare pinkish white flower found only in the Shiroi hill range of Ukrul district, Manipur. The Shiroi lily flower was discovered when Frank Kingdon Ward came to Manipur with his wife for botanical research in 1946. A number of rivers originate from the cracks and slopes of Shiroi Peak. The exotic Shiroi lily flower Lilium maclini blooms on the hilltop in May, June annually. The flower attracts hundreds of scientists and tourists every year owing to its uniqueness. The Shirui Hills also support various rare wildlife which include clouded leopard, flying squirrel, blight stragopan, hornbills, python, cobra, viper, etc. Different species of epiphytic, terrestrial and lithophytic orchids are also found in the area. Shirui Lily Festival is celebrated every year, organized by the state government to highlight the importance of Shirui Lily and its conservation. Among the wildlife sanctuaries, Yango Pokpi Lokchao Wildlife Sanctuary is an important sanctuary located in Tengnopal district along the Indo-Myanmar border. A part of biodiversity hotspots. It was notified in the year 1989 and inhabits wide varieties of species, namely Hullock Gibbon, Himalayan Black Bear, Slow Loris, Stumptail Makake, Cerro, Indian Civet Cat, Common Otter, Pangolin, Burmese Green Peafowl, Oriental Pied Hornbill, etc. The sanctuary is also the only natural habitat in India where the endangered birds, green pea fowl, Wahong Asangba, are found. Green pea fowl population is declining rapidly. Thus, BirdLife International in 2010 upgraded its status from vulnerable to endangered. Widespread hunting for meat and feathers and collection of eggs and chicks combined with habitat modification and human disturbance has caused a survival threat to this species. Kailam Wildlife Sanctuary was notified in 1997 in Kailam Hill Range over an area of 187.50 square kilometers. It is located in the southern part of Manipur. and was notified considering its ecological condition, fauna, flora, and geomorphological features of significance. Kailam Hills, 
locally known as Kailam Tang, is a popular hill range in Churachanpur and Ferjol districts. A great deal of history, culture, folk tales and beliefs are woven around the area. Kailam Wildlife Sanctuary falls under the Indo-Burma region of the Biodiversity Hotspots. It is home to five species of hornbills, namely Tickles Brown Hornbill, Rufus Necked Hornbill, Great Hornbill, Reed Hornbill and Oriental Pied Hornbill, Leopard, the Golden Cat Serum, Hulak Gibbon, Stumptail Macaque, Chinese Pangolin, Goral, etc. There are about 135 species of trees, 119 species of herbs, 80 species of shrubs, as well as a combination of 68 grass and bamboo species. Buning Wildlife Sanctuary was notified in the year 1997 covering an area of 115.8 square kilometer. It is an extension of Zuko Valley and a combination of alpine grassland and a forest ecosystem. It displays the beautiful undulating meadows with varied flowering herbs, shrubs, trees, bamboos and orchids mingle with wild lilies. The Buning area supports the catchment of four important rivers of the state. Buning is known as ecologically fragile and climatically vulnerable sanctuary. The wildlife sanctuary is facing threat due to the changing patterns besides continuing pressure from human activities. Recent study indicates the heat wave with the low winter rains is another feature disturbing the wildlife sanctuary. The sanctuary is home to rich variety of flora and fauna. It is a component of Bareil range enriched with diverse biological diversity. The presence of pristine forests indicates the ecosystems are complex and diverse with many levels and intricate relationships between organisms. The sanctuary supports a wide variety of wild animals namely barking deer, Sambur, Leopard, Jekyll, Pangolin, Wild Boar, Jungle Cat, Martins, Clouded Leopard, Golden Cat, Slow Loris, Hornbills, etc. Jiri Makru Wildlife Sanctuary was declared in 1997, covering an area of 198 square kilometer. It is located in Tamenglong district of Manipur and is popular for its varied vegetation and wildlife. This sanctuary is located between the Jiri River and Makru River, which are tributaries of Barak River. The area supports the wildlife including Hulok Gibbon, Bear, Barking Deer, Sambur, Leopard, Jackal, Pangolin, Wild Boar, Jungle Cat, Flying Squirrel, Yellow Throated Martin, Fishing Cat, Civet Cat, Python, Seru, with seasonal migration of elephants from Assam. 
The area has potential habitat for tiger population also. The sanctuary is a place for beautiful and rare orchids. Zailat Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Tosem subdivision of Tamanglong district of Manipur. It was notified as a wildlife sanctuary in 1997 covering an area of 21 square kilometer considering its importance of being located in one of the biodiversity hotspots with its contiguous landscapes with that of Jiri Makro and Buning wildlife sanctuaries making it rich in biodiversity. The sanctuary area consists of seven different lakes providing a high altitude wetland ecosystem of wide range of plants and animals. The name of the lakes are Zailat, Guipwapzai, Napsiamzai. Golungzi, Tuangpuizai, Narozai, and one unnamed lake. The sanctuary is an abode of migratory birds. The lakes provide 15 kinds of fishes. The other wildlife found in the sanctuary include leopard, leopard cat, common langur, yellow throated marten, hullock gibbon, slow loris, hawk badger, migratory birds including falcons, etc. Among the seven lakes, the Zailat Lake is the most famous. The lake is situated near the Zaliat Zang, a part of Atengba village, on a high platform up on the hill. The lake is noted for its picturesque location and abundant scope for adventure. This high altitude lake supports many diverse floral and faunal species, including pythons, fish, tortoises, water birds, etc. The Naga tales reveal that the Zelat Lake is a place where Paddy originated. Apart from these protected areas, the Forest Department has also notified two more sanctuaries, namely Kongjaingamba Ching Wildlife Sanctuary. Kinungai Bird Sanctuary and 10 community reserves for protection and conservation. The national parks and sanctuaries of the state provide a spectrum of richness of eco frisile systems, flora and fauna in this part of biodiversity hotspot. The Forest Department Manipur faces tremendous challenge in maintaining such delicate eco frisile systems due to anthropogenic pressures.
the department in coordination with the local villages and eco development committees continuously work on maintaining the pristine natural heritage of the state and the country while simultaneously working on alternative livelihoods for the people dependent on these areas these national parks and sanctuaries are the national heritage and every citizen has the constitutional duty to protect and conserve them.